Today, we're going to be talking about sponsorships and how to identify fake and spam emails. I'm also going to be using the comments of this video to show some spam emails that I've gotten over the years for some examples, but also so if people are looking up the emails they get on Google, they might find this video and hopefully realize that it's a scam. So also feel free to leave yours in the comments down below too. So if you got an email that after this video you realize is a fake or a scam, feel free to post in the comments to help other people out as well. Now, I've worked with a lot of companies over the years, whether it be a wallet company, tech companies, mobile game ads, but for every real sponsorship opportunity email I get, I probably get like 20 to 30 fake ones. Now, I think Gmail has gotten a lot better recently at filtering some of them out, but I used to be at the point where I was getting four to five of them every single day. Now, there are a lot of different partnerships and sponsorships for YouTube. A lot of them are just like paid time. So basically like an advertisement in the middle of a video, like whether it be for a VPN company, something like that, and that takes up 30 seconds of time. And they also usually have something in the description where if you click on sign up through their link, the creator will also receive bonus money for every sign up they get. That's usually what most people think of when they think of a sponsor for a video, but there are also different types. For example, a company may send their product to a YouTuber for free or even pay them to do a review of their product. Oftentimes, they'll even work with smaller creators for these. However, if it's like a legit large company, they're probably not just going to be sending their $2,000 products to anyone. But this is a great way for a lot of smaller channels to kind of dip their feet in the sponsorship world. But with these, always be careful with who you partner with. A lot of these companies might be drop shipping companies that really are just buying them from China, sending it to someone else. They don't actually make or own the product. And while it's not illegal or anything, it's just a little shady to promote companies like that. I've also gotten a lot of emails from tech companies that want me to review their products, but from what I can tell, they're not making the webcams or the microphones themselves. They're just buying in bulk off of like AliExpress and then putting their name on it. And a lot of times they're just trying to rank higher on Amazon, so they'll be like the cheapest 4K webcam when you type in 4K webcam, stuff like that. In general, I try to just be careful about working with those type of companies. Now that we got the real sponsorships out of the way, let's talk about the fake ones. A lot of these are going to be phishing emails that will try to either scam you out of money or hack your account. So first, most importantly, be careful about anything you click on or download from an email link or a shared Google Drive. And never log in from anything from a link. Make sure like if you're logging into PayPal, don't click on the link and then log in. Make sure to go to paypal.com and go from there because sometimes they can make a fake site that looks like PayPal. Now onto the email itself. The first thing I always look at is who is this email from? What is the sender's email address? If it's from a legit company, it's usually going to have the contact person's name at thecompanyname.com. If it's .cz or .ru or anything weird that you don't really recognize that isn't the country that that company is from, that is a huge red flag. Even if it has the company name in it, like I've had emails from at Microsoft.ru or something weird, they try to make it look like it has that name in it. Do not believe it if it has a weird ending. The next thing I look for is weird grammar. Things that sort of make sense when you read it, but look like they went through Google Translate. A lot of times they use weird words to try to pass through the Gmail spam filters. So a lot of times if you see a word that like makes sense in the context, but no one would ever use, definitely another red flag. A lot of them will also have extra spaces around words or have like accents on words that don't need them. They're just trying to bypass the spam filters. And generally these spam emails won't have too much with them. They're not going to have like pictures and stuff like with the company logo. It's just going to be like blank text and that's it. Now that's not always the case, just most of the time. These emails usually also don't include much personalization. So usually it just is a very generic message like, I saw your YouTube channel. I've been following your YouTube channel for a long time things like that, but without actually saying anything about your YouTube channel. So legit ones usually will have something personalized like, hey, I saw your video on this, really liked it, whatever, go from there. Not just generic YouTube statement that could be applied to any YouTuber. A lot of them also offer a lot of money up front and also say something along lines of like, if that's not enough, we can negotiate more, which is not how negotiations work. They never send you an initial email with an amount and say, but it could be more. And they usually will also give you a bunch of different ways that they can pay you. Like we'll pay you with Payoneer or PayPal or wire transfer, or cryptocurrency. If they offer like a bunch of ways up front before you've even discussed terms, that is another huge red flag. 
Another thing to do is research who the company is claiming to be. Now, if you're getting contacted by Microsoft, Sony, or Netflix, which are like the three most common ones I seem to get, they're probably not legit. And they're not just gonna like put a wall of text and be like Sony brand ambassador or something like that. That's not gonna happen. Another thing is make sure the company aligns with what you do. For example, I've gotten a lot of emails claiming to be Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's makeup line. Obviously, they wouldn't get anything from a partnership with me, but if you were a makeup YouTuber, you'd probably be more convinced by that. But if it's a company that has nothing to do with what you do, just immediately ignore that. That's obviously going to be a scam. So I think that gives you a pretty good idea, but let's take a look at two fake ones that I have gotten, one definitely low effort and one that's a little more convincing and kind of go how I was able to identify them. So this first one is one I've gotten a lot recently. It's basically trying to get me to promote their new game. So this is a little more legit in the sense that Snow Castle Games exists. It's not like a fake company or anything. So you might think, oh, it's a smaller game company. They're reaching out to me. They want me to promote their new game. And that's sort Sort of makes sense however it's at email.cz so they'll also usually use a fake name like this one is Lindsay Corey but they don't sign it anywhere it's just blank text a lot of these also only have like a few words per line as you can see it could have been a lot longer but it was like clearly copied and pasted from somewhere so I've never actually answered any of these, um, but I assume what would happen is if I did, they'd say, okay, great, here's a link to our game. Feel free to download it and go from there. And it's just like a fake thing that will put a virus on my computer, tr key log, track me. I don't know exactly what they'll do, but yeah, it would be bad. The grammar itself isn't too bad. I mean, it all kind of makes sense, but of course there's no personalization towards me. So that's obviously a big red flag. So this next one is a little more convincing, but one thing I red flagged instantly was that their name was not Cassandra Fox on their email. Their name was Hollow Knight Silk Song. So obviously that is not what anyone would have their email name be, wouldn't be the game. So that was a big red flag, of course. I have watched your channel for a while and I think it is perfect to promote Hollow Knight. Now, again, they didn't say anything about my channel. I don't even know what channel they're referring to because I have two different channels go to the same email. So they say their new game is coming out soon. They would like to offer me cooperation. So that's not really good English and record a review on your YouTube channel. If you have other social networks. So another thing, if a company actually was reaching out to me, they would look at me on my other platforms to see if I was larger on any of those. They wouldn't just go with YouTube and be like, if you have anything else, sure. If you're interested in our offer, please let me know. I'll send you more information. We can discuss payment terms again and other details. Like they, they always try to highlight the payment terms. They're like, we'll give you money. Um, so really, this wasn't the worst one I've gotten. I mean, they didn't capitalize manager at the bottom again this all very basic text with the different fonts not great looking i also looked up certain portions of the email on google to see if there was anyone else who had gotten these type of emails and of course there were many other people posting about getting this type of email which of course would lead you to believe that is a scam and that's why i'm making a video like this so this can sort of be like a forum for people who have gotten these spam emails so that's about it. Hopefully I helped you identify if you had a spam email or not. If you're unsure of something, just try to do a little bit more research around it. Try to look up a few different portions of the email on Google with quotes and see if you can find someone else posting about it. And if you have something that you definitely know is spam, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll try to improve everything because I know it probably won't get through YouTube spam filter. So maybe just add a couple of extra things to explain what you're about to post. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like these in the future. And if you have any ideas for future videos let me know in the comments down below i'll see you guys next time